Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I wanna to talk about why you should keep your client pipeline full. All right, so today I'm coming to you from the outskirts of Wantage, right? I'm literally like a mile away from my office. Right, so I've been driving. I, I went to go see some clients today, so I've been driving for like the last couple of hours. But you know, I'm just on the way back, and I thought I'd find a nice spot to stop and do the video. Right, so there's this like airplane. Uh, there's this airplane on the outs between the Wantage and Grove. Right, so it's, it's this big monument thing. So that's what I got here in the background, in case you're wondering. So anyway, the client I went to go meet today was one that I've been working on. Well. We've been talking for quite a while, probably about two and a half years. It's taken a long time to get to the point where we are now, which we're ready to start the project. Yay! Right? So, you know, they called me, uh, I think it's been, it was about two and a half years ago was the first call. Then we had another call like last spring saying, oh yeah, you know, we, we spoke before and then we talked about some stuff and, uh, and then, you know, over the last few months. So, you know, we made a quote, we just you know, waited, we got other things going on, and then now we're getting ready to get started on the project and just, you know, doing a final few meetings. So it's, it's taken a, a long time. And some, you know, I'm finding like a lot of times, you know, we, we, we'll, we'll quote on a project and we can wait, you know, three months, six months, you know, two years, whatever, for somebody to come back, right? And we think that the lead is dead, or we, we think that, it, you know, it, the project's not going to happen and then we get a call saying hey you know, you remember we were talking about that i'm so sorry you haven't heard from us all this kind of stuff so you know sometimes these things could take a long time now one of the things that was really like i, I learned early on when i went when i you know going from being a software developer to looking more at the business side of things is that i have to keep my pipeline full right one of the things even when i'm just coding myself right it's it's you sometimes these projects could take a long time to go and it's not a case of you know, I go out and find a client, they, they say what they want, I do their project, and then I go find another client. Because they have a lot of gaps in there and you don't have enough, you know, you're not keeping yourself fully occupied. So, a lot of times, it used to be that when somebody would call me up and I didn't have time to work on their project, I would just say, I'm sorry, I'm too busy, you know, uh, we, we can't do it. But then I, you know, I realized that some, you know, we have this long lead in time, so now, I always say yes to everything. I always say the yes to the first meeting, even though I say we're very busy at the moment, but yeah, let's have a chat, right? Because sometimes they're not ready to get started right away, or they think they are, but they want more time to think about it, right? So, you know, it, 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 it pays to always have a, a full pipeline and a lot of things on the go that, that you maybe you've quoted on and all this kind of stuff. And one of the things that I'm really bad on doing is following up. Like I don't just keep ch chasing and everything when, once I give a quote, which I probably should, but it's one of the things I hate doing. I hate when I talk to salesmen, right? And they give me, they'll give me a price and I go away to think about it. And then, you know, the next day I get a call. Then, then two days later I get a call. Then three days later I call. So it's one of the things that I always, you know, I always give them some space. My pipeline's full, I'm good. You take your time to think about it, all that kind of stuff, right? And when I, when I first did my first my first ever quote. Now this was back, oh boy, this was years ago. Right, I can remember doing a quote for a company on a project and I went away and I, I spent a lot of time on this quote. I did the specification and everything and I sent it to them and then I waited by the phone. I mean, I expected, you know, as well as, it was like being a lovesick teenager. Like you didn't want to go to the bathroom because you're afraid the phone was gonna ring. It was really, really sad. I was like, I hope I get this job. I hope I get this project. I hope I get this project, right? And then like after a day, I'd email them, I'd try to get them on the phone, and then two days later I get them on the phone, you know, and it took them, you know, it took them a few months, right? It was, you know, I thought it would take them, I thought it would take them hours to decide. And of course they have to get everybody to sign off, we have to have revisions of the specification, and it took a few months, and they were sick of me by the end because I kept pestering them. So, and it's one of the things. So, my question to you guys today, for those of you who do work with clients, is what is the longest period you've had to wait for a client to make a decision? I'm not talking about the, the length of the development project because that's that's its own thing, but I mean, going from that first conversation until you actually close it. And for those of you who are thinking about working with clients, always keep this in mind. It's not just a case of you going out, you finding something, you start on it right away. A lot of times you need a bit of time for all the decisions to be made and you know, and give them give them some time to breathe, you know. So anyway, that's, that's it for today. Um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. As long as I'm still